If you can't tell by the hat there, today we're heading into Magic Kingdom. Um, since this year is all about the 50th birthday, today's videos gonna kind of be centered on Magic Kingdom's birthday. You had a great idea. Our plan is going to be to um, ride all the original rides if we're able to. We're just gonna see if we can do that. I thought that would be fun. And then we're gonna see if there's any 50th merchandise, which I know there is, and we'll show you guys. And then also if there's any like extra fun stuff associated yeah, with it. I'm excited. Yeah. Let's go check it out. As we are at the front entrance, you can see they've got this little 50th cake with Minnie and Mickey ready to eat it. And right behind the world's most magical celebration, Magic Kingdom 50. We'll get another zoom in here on that 50th signage right out in front. Something else we're gonna keep an eye on too is all their fall decorations, which match the 50th anniversary oh yeah so that'll be cool to see right away we're greeted with winnie the pooh tigger hopping around eeyore rabbit piglet and then right at the front we have lady and the tramp gold statue and then here are some of their fall halloween decorations this is like one of the best times to come to magic kingdom although christmas christmas is going to be a big one as well and these are really cool decorations being the cinderella pumpkins and you can see they are they are have all the fall halloween stuff out ready to go it looks like it's going to be a busy day with these signs i love the little gym they have here i wonder if some of the seven doors mine that for them we're gonna head into oh <laughs> random pumpkin all right we're gonna head into the emporium see what kind of merch they got and right away we're greeted with guess what 50th We've got the Mickeys and Minis. It's $30 with the uh, 50th on the bottom. The Unlimit 2 per item per guest. These are really cool. 20 bucks, that's not bad. That's We've got all the cool. characters on there. Yeah, that's... That might be worth a... That's cool. Look at the replica tassel right here. I mean, it is packed in here. Everybody wants their 50th merch. We're gonna go around the side. Check out what we just found. Speaking of pins, 50th anniversary pin trading mystery packs. Orange bird. Sick. We need one or two. Let's get two of them. Okay. They do have pop sockets, pop wallets, fanny packs, ears, magic bands. Whatever you can imagine, they're gonna have. This nice bag, $40. More shirts, more shirts, a blanket. If we go over in this far corner, they're gonna have hats. This is, this is unreal. <laughs> this is unreal. Here's the Nike hats, 50 on there. Let's see the price. $45 on the hat. Whoa. Shirt. Oh, that's a nice shirt. I like that. What do we got? $37. Hey, what's your heart rate right now? Oh, too high. That was the busiest by far it's ever been in there. But you could purchase, I have no idea how much it was, purchase a reusable 50th bag. Sure, not much. Usually the reusable. Yeah, exactly. This is the small one, but check it out. On the back has all of the. Uh, essentially the 50 statues they have here at the park. So I thought that was really cool. And we got two of those um, 50th pin sets. So yeah, we'll just have, we gotta take a breather after that. That was, in, that was insane. As we're approaching the decked out castle, I see a plethora of gold statues. Got the uh, Mickey and Minnie gold statue here. Here's a closer look at these, and you can see Walt Disney World cast members have always been the heart of our magic. These statues of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse are dedicated to, this, to celebrate cast members past, present, and future. Thank you for making Walt, Disney, Walt Disney's dream a reality. Dedicated this 15th day of September 2021. Right here we've got Pluto and Goofy. 
you can see they have the gold statues just kind of looped around this little circle area here. And then over here, Chippendale. We think for some lunch, the Columbia Harbor House, because we were reading and it was one of the original restaurants here. Now, Hall of Presidents was one of the original shows, but today we decided we're actually not gonna do really the show portion of it. We're hoping just to do the ride portion. And since it's an extremely busy day, we'll be lucky if we can get all those rides in. And right before we get to Haunted Mansion, here is the Columbia Harbor House. Chicken, sandwiches, seafood. Okay, so with the Columbia Harbor House, it is mobile order only, I believe, right now. I think there's maybe some walk-ups, but they definitely recommend mobile ordering. So we are sharing the lobster roll, clam chowder, and then we just got a drink. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well, but there is a bald eagle just flying right above us. Isn't that his name? Sam Bald Eagle? From... From the Disney, the Rocket Show. Oh, maybe, yeah, that is... That's awesome. Here is what it looks like inside. You want to try to get us a seat? We can go upstairs though too, I think. And we're on number three pickup line. So, head right down here. So we came up the stairs, which seems a little quieter and more seating options. Here's the theming. It looks really nice in here. You like it. You love it, I should say. And here's our food. That looks really good. Oh, and then we're going to show you our <laughs> mystery pins, what we got. What options do you want on here first? Like, what do you want to get? I think... I like the... I like the teacup. I love orange bread. I like Remy. All right, when you when you open it, finally, <laughs> rip the box to shreds. What do you got? Gold? No, that's different. Ooh. And there's two that come in each And there's a total of ten. They should have done 50. They should have done 50 of them. What, 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 what? Did you get it? <gasps> Score. Score. Oh, yes. See, yeah, I asked like that. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's got like a different like gloss on like it. Like a tinge almost. to it? Yeah. Nice. Cool. How so far. That? I don't know. Cool though. Those are, and I like the size. They're not like super huge either. Right. Here's the other package. I'd like Remy if we could, but we'll see. Oh, well, that's a solid. That was one I really enjoyed too. Solid. I think that's. Who is this? We literally can't figure out who this guy is. Who is this? Who is this? Did you find it? Okay. Orangebird Figment, Smart One from Municor. Mr. Dairy Goods? Thanks. So this you. is Mr. What? what? Go ahead. Dairy Goods? Mr. Dairy Goods. And I'm just going to shout out to thank you at laughingplace.com because that was the only place I was able to figure that out. Thanks. I don't even know what that is though. We, it's we need from, to. from. from Kitchen Cabaret. Hmm. All right, time to dig in. First off, Fry crunchy. That's how you can tell it's a good fry crunchy. Clam chowder. Oh man. That is delicious. Oh man. Stinking good. I'm throwing it stinking good. And now let's try this huge lobster ball. Mm hmm. Very delicious. Very delicious. So I have to say, I really enjoyed that place. Yeah, it was really good. And if you set upstairs, really not that rowdy or loud. So it was nice to cool off. Now I believe, oh, it's a small world's 30. So was that on the list? That was on the list, right? An original, do we wanna? Yeah. All right, we're gonna get on one so far. It's a small world, which was originally here. And so the list we looked at Peter Pan was too, but it looks like an extremely, extremely long line. It really hasn't taken us that long to get right here, but you can see how the crowd level is so far. They said 30 minutes. My guess it's probably gonna be 20 or less.
just looking at what all they did on this wallet. It's a small world and they added 5-0 right there. So we haven't been on that in a, in a little while because it's been closed for refurbishment and then the line was just so long or whatever. You could tell they really freshened it up quite a bit. So brighter, right. the was more colorful. And I do think they added a few extra characters in there, but behind the castle they've got Pinocchio. And right across there's another one. Got Lumiere and Cogsworth right there. Cool. I think we're gonna try to see what teacups is for a wait. Teacups, only a 10 minute wait, so we'll go ahead and do that one. All right, we made it on the teacups. Right, it's gonna be Dumbo. So we're able to ride a few of them that were open uh, 50 years ago. Over here we got the uh, Cheshire Cat. And right next door here, the Mad Hatter. That's a good one there. Over here by Dumbo and it's only a 15 minute wait. So we're gonna go hop on that. Oh, hey, fire us up. Whoa, what do they got? Like a... <laughs> oh, that's always a fun one. But Big Top Souvenirs is open. So yes, we will be heading in there. It's been longer than a minute since we've been in here and they've made it seating, which I don't know, I'm torn about that. I liked all their stuff they had, but it's nice to have indoor seating when it's hot out. However, I just saw there's pin trading. There is pin trading in here. Look at this. Just so you know, we did trade. Um, we traded the Steamboat Willie for this Winnie the Pooh right there. That was just the Steamboat Willie hat. If I find a real yeah. Steamboat Willie, I'll be different about it, but that's cool. I do appreciate all the seating in here, but it's just weird not to have all the toys and stuff right now. Honestly, since it's like fall in Florida and like what, 90 degrees today, <laughs> it's, it's a warm one and it's pretty crowded. Um, it's the most crowded I think it's been since coming back. Weekend, yeah. yeah, I would agree with that. I, I think for ride wise, we got lucky with some of them and we're gonna call it quits on the ride. And I think the last thing we'll do is, I think we're gonna head towards Main Street again and see if we can just look at some more of that 50th anniversary stuff and then yeah, we'll also be back for Boo Bash. Yeah, we're gonna have a soon, so. Boo Bash video coming very soon of we're more of a Halloween. Ride, yeah. Yeah. So for today and to try to keep these videos a little shorter, I think we're gonna head down Main Street. Of course, Tomorrowland Speedway was one of the originals as well, but that one's not really one of our favorites. So especially when it's extremely hot out, you just sit out there and you bake in the sun. So. I'll pass that one up. And then right over here on this side of the castle, they've got the uh, Dumbo Timothy Mouse statue. I like that one a lot. Just to give a view of Main Street here, kind of mid-afternoon, still quite a bit of people. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see if it calmed down a little bit and head back into the Emporium for some 50th. I know I showed this earlier, but I think this replica is so awesome. I mean it. They did such a good job at making it look identical. Wonder if that's like the model they used to put up the decoration and see what it looked like. I don't know, really cool though. Oh, and then look up top there. They've got little decorations all up there. Here are some more shirts and some more Mickey ears they have over here. Again, it's still pretty crazy in here, but there's some 50th pins right here, which are pretty cool. I do like that though, that's, that's, yeah. Now we're gonna head towards this side and look at some of their Halloween items. See if they've added anything new or what, what not. Pretty good little section. And then there is a parade coming. As we're leaving they have the see you real soon all with their pumpkins that's pretty cool 
I think I forgot to show this, but we ended up getting this calendar for $25. It's a 2022 calendar. It's got all this old school looking. Um, it's the, I think it's the, what was Disney original? Vault in from the, the Disney Vault. Yeah, inspired by authentic art from the opening. Opening, that's cool. So it's Mr. Toad's, like they talked about, Country Bear, Small World. And then it's the front. Here's the front. And then we ended up getting a 50th pin to hang on to just for memories. That one will not be getting traded. So when we went to Epcot a little bit ago, I kept getting the frozen tea at Joffrey's and I can't remember the name of it, but it, they use the coconut. And so the mango one, when I was up there, I mentioned they have a tart and tangy, which was mango. So before we go out to the car, I got the tart and tangy and it's delicious. So I would 100% recommend the tart and tangy. And you got the frozen Kona mocha from Joffrey's. And it's good. good. All right, recommend it. All right, that was our trip out to Magic Kingdom today to do a little bit of our own 50th celebration for it. It's a great day. It's blazing hot out right now. Warmed up. Definitely warmed up, but like you mentioned earlier, we will be back very shortly for the Boobash and do some more fun videos, but we just wanted to kind of keep it simple today. So I enjoyed everything. Did you? Yeah. Got some cool merch, 50 mer 50th merch, um, cool pins, and the Columbia Harbor House was... Definitely a good place to go eat. We have a couple classic rides. Exactly. Didn't get to ride them all, but hey, that's all right. But we have before. So. We have before. Look at one of our other videos if you <laughs> if you want to watch that. But with that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching. <laughs>